I don't really understand what's all the hype about soccer. There's so many games on TV all the time and everybody's talking about it, but what's so great about it, honestly? Seriously though, there's this cat that's totally copying my fur. Hey Axel, so when am I coming over again? We would. So we're totally gonna match for homecoming, right? Because I'm wearing a pink dress, so you have to wear a pink tie or a pink bow tie. But honestly, wear a tie because that's way fancier than a bow tie. <laughs> You're right. You're not gonna catch me wearing pink anywhere. Ugh. I have no friends and right now life means nothing in high school when I'm getting older is not gonna have any impact on the rest of my life. So why am I really here learning these things, meeting these people? Shouldn't I just be home sleeping? Uh, the things I see in this hallway, uh, they worry me. So, how did your weekend go, Noah? To be honest, it wasn't that great. My dad's been really mad at me lately because of my grades in geometry. I don't know what to do. The class is so hard and I don't want him to still be mad at me, but I seriously just don't get it. And the teacher just doesn't know how to teach and the homework makes no sense and the tests, I'm, I don't know what I'm going to do. Not to be funny, Noah, but um, you know Amelia's like really good at geometry, right? She's one of the mathletes. She could totally help you. Uh -huh. Yeah, funny. As if I could actually ask Amelia to help me because well, you know how that would go. It'd be a stuttering mess and she'd get creeped out. <sighs> Noah, you know that's not true. Amelia is so sweet. I can tell. She's not gonna get creeped out because you stutter or say something ridiculous. You're right. Um. I guess I'll go talk to her then. Mm. Amelia? Huh? Oh, um, hi Noah. Uh -huh. So, you have geometry second period, right? <laughs> Noah, we're in the same class. <laughs> yes, I have a geometry second period. Yeah, uh, yeah, I, 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 know, I know that. Um, uh, so, how have, how, how did you do on the chapter test? Oh, I, um, I got a 92 on it. I was kind of thinking I would do better on it, but uh, there were some of them I guess I thought I could do, but I didn't. Uh, I don't know. Eh, how did you do? I got a 54. I know. I'm stupid. Noah, stop. It was a really hard chapter. Don't beat yourself up over it. Maybe, maybe I could go over it with you. Wait, really? You would do that? <laughs> well, of course. I love math, as crazy as that sounds. It's really something I'm good at and I actually enjoy doing. I know that sounds really weird and I sound like a total nerd, but I don't know if, I mean, maybe you could come over or I could go over to your house and I could help you with it. Yeah, I, I could totally come over. Uh, is today a, a good day? Sure, we can go right after school. Uh, okay, <laughs> well, um, sounds great. I'll, I'll meet you back at your locker then. <laughs> yeah, um, I'll see you then. Uh, okay, <laughs> um, well, bye. <laughs>
Cody, Cody, you're never gonna believe this. Um, believe what? Hey. Do you mind if I just talk to Noah for a sec? Thanks. Uh, okay. I'll see you later. Ugh. Can I help you with something, Alex? What's the deal with you and Amelia, huh? <laughs> Are you guys dating or not? I don't really see why it would matter to you. You seem to not like me for some reason. Why could that be? Hmm? Oh, is it because Amelia's had a crush on me for years? And yet, she doesn't see anything in you. You don't know what you're talking about, Alex. Amelia deserves so much better than you. So what? You think you're better than me? I never said that, Alex. But for the record, I think I am a better person than you. You don't know what you're talking about, Barkley. <sighs> Why do you even care, Alex? You have a girlfriend. What? What's the big deal about Amelia? <sighs> you know what? <sighs> What the tail? Alex Pofford! What? Go to the principal's office immediately. Pfft, whatever. This isn't over, Barkley. Watch your back. No, sweetie, are you alright? Do you need to go to the nest? No. I'm fine. Am I the only person who witnessed that, or what? I hate this school. Good morning, students. I presume all of you over the weekend have seen your grades on Chapter 5's test. Now, some of you did very well. Like Miss Amelia Hart's here. Thank you, dear. And on the contrary, others of you did not do very good. Now, since I am a reasonable and kind teacher, may I say, I'm going to be allowing you to do test corrections. Now, for those of you who did not do well on the test, I suggest that you partner up with someone who did well on the test and therefore they can explain to you what you did wrong to fix your answers. Now I'll give you all a minute to find your partners and then after that, shut up. Hey Noah. Oh, hey. This is kind of a perfect opportunity, huh? That's exactly what I was thinking. We can do test corrections at my house later when you come over. That sounds amazing. Amelia. Oh, Roxanne. I know we're usually partners on everything, but I promised to help Noah. And I'm sure you know what you're doing since we're both on the mathletes team. Oh, no worries. I'll just work with Taylor. Dude, I failed. Like, bad. Dude, same. Do you want to be partners? Well, duh. No way! Intelligence is beautiful. <laughs> I can't believe I'm getting another note. How do I not see them do this? Hey, Amelia! Oh! <laughs> Hi, Noah! I, uh, got another note on my locker. Can you believe it? Oh, really? What does your secret admirer have to say now? This one says intelligence is beautiful. And I really appreciate that because sometimes I feel really silly about myself, you know, loving math and being really into my schooling. Sometimes I feel like people think I'm lame for being smart. I don't know. But somehow they knew that and they wanted to make me feel better about myself, and it, it does, really. I don't know what I did to deserve this. You didn't have to do anything, except being yourself. You hear that?
that, children? That means leave! Woo! I love duty. Hey, <laughs> she said duty. <laughs> uh, he should go. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's, let's go. You'll regret this. Hey, Mom, I'm home. I, um, brought a friend over. Hi, Amelia. Hello, Mrs. Hartz. I'm Noah Barkley. I'm a classmate of Melia's. It's Miss, actually, darling. But don't worry about it. It's very nice to meet you. Me and Noah are going to work on some test corrections in my room, okay? That sounds wonderful. Do you want me to bring you guys some drinks and snacks? That would be great, uh, actually. No. I mean, um, no thanks. Uh, we don't need any food. Or sna uh, snacks. We don't need... We don't need any snacks, Mom, thanks. We'll just be in my room. Come on. Hmm. Excuse me. I hope she's all right. Well, um, this is my room. Whoa. This room is so cool. Wow. <laughs> Thanks. I actually just moved back in here. I've been staying in my brother's room for quite a while while he was away in the military. Wait a second. You have a brother? Hey. Huh? Oh, August. Hey. So... What's your name? Uh, I'm Noah Barkley. Amelia, you didn't tell me you had a boyfriend. Oh, uh, he's not, uh, he, uh, oh, we're uh, not, no, eh. We, uh, he's, uh, I'm well, not, I'm, uh, uh, no, yeah, we're, yeah, we're, uh, we're, we're not, not a couple. couple. Right, and Donald Trump's not the president. Okay. Well, whatever you are, be nice to my sister, okay? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. Anyway, um, let's get to work. <sighs> okay, ready to get started? Oh, you know me, always excited about math. <laughs> I'm kidding, let's do this. I've gotta admit, working with Noah was so much easier and more enjoyable than it was with Alex. He made doing something as boring as test corrections so much more fun with all of his silly jokes and remarks. I realized that Noah was such a genuinely kind soul and that I really loved to be around him. Well, that was the last one. I can't believe we got done with them so quickly. Eh, it doesn't surprise me working with the math genius herself over here. Oh, shut up. What do you want to do now? We could always watch old Vine compilations. How did you know that's literally my favorite thing to do ever? Eh, great minds think alike. <laughs> Here, let me show you the best one. <laughs> Road work ahead. Uh, yeah, I sure hope it does. <laughs> Wait, this is the one where she sees the rat in Walmart. I saw you hanging out with Kaylin the other day. Oh, Re Rebecca, it's not what you think. <laughs> <laughs> I could do this all day. <laughs> Literally same. Sorry to interrupt you two, but you guys have been at this for hours. Why don't you have a couple drinks and some chips? Oh. Thank you, Miss Hartz. It's my pleasure, sweetie. Enjoy! 
Mmm. Amelia, are you gonna have some of this? No, I'm I'm not very hungry. Oh come on, it's just a bowl of chips. Have some. Noah, please. I don't want any. Come on, just one. Noah, stop! I don't want any, okay? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to upset you. It's not your fault. It's mine. You know you can talk to me, right? You can tell me anything. I won't judge you. I... I'm self-conscious about my weight. I've been trying to lose weight for a couple months now. Because every time I look in the mirror, I look fat, overweight, and not who I want to be. But that's not what I see. But how can what you see be different than what I see? It's the same person. I just know when I look at you, I see a beautiful girl who is very kind, caring, compassionate, intelligent, extremely funny. I see someone who is just about perfect. And even if you do have a couple flaws, that only adds to the things I love about you. No one's ever said anything like that to me. I don't even know what to say. You don't have to say anything. You're right. I am? Because no words could explain how grateful I am for you, Noah. <laughs> I see. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. You don't have to ever think.